to Pokemon. Pokemon, let's Pokemon see. Sword and Shield, or is the internet calling it? Sleep. Pokemon Swish. Swish, Swish, Swish. swish yep. Another swish, one swish. in the basket. What a horrible song. What are you talking about? It's my favorite song. No, it's not. But it's your most bad song? Wow, that song is most bad. Most bad. Bad guy. Swish, swish, swish. I'm the one in the so, Dude. we just watched the, what do you call it? A Nintendo Di- or Pokemon Direct. You say what do you all think of it? We probably should have started with this. I did. <coughs> I right. think clap and everything. You're the one not paying attention. Let's. We should have started with this. Oh, yeah. You say, like, we just watched it, but, like, I've forgotten the most of it. Well, I've got notes. I get, I Dynamax! Dynamax prison! Oh my god, that's the vacuum, right? Yeah, it sounds like a vacuum. Dyson. Di- I think that's Dynamo. Dynam- there's Dyson. Dyson. And then there's. Dynamic. Max. Max. It sounds like Dy- Dynamax, pr- like Dynamax oh, no prison. Max Max. Oh, yeah. That sounds it's like, like a Max shit. Taxis. It's like a massive vaccine. <clears throat> Vaccine. Yeah. <laughs> what what's that a vaccine for? Everything. Everything. <laughs> Can't it's a maxi vac. <laughs> 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 You're waiting for someone to make a meme about that. It's like the big Pokemon. It's like when you get vaccinated. <laughs> when the vaccinated kid brings in allergies. Polio. <laughs> Polio. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> I've been vaccinated, and then they they throw the the other Pokeball, and then it's like autism. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. <laughs> so like the little Pokemon are like polio and like whooping cough and like everything like actually can kill you. And then it's like. Boom, autism. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Fucking someone make that shit. Oh, you do it. Ah, I don't have the time or the patience or the skill. Neither do I. Or the, no, I have the money. But I don't have the patience. Of the the money? <laughs> you have money? <laughs> Give it to me now! <laughs> no, well, it costs nothing, so that's what I mean. I have the money. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Because, <laughs> uh, like, you can just use any, like, paint. You can just use paint. Correct. You guys know the me and the boys meme? With all the Spider-Man Yeah, dolls. bro. Yeah. I fucking love that. Someone made the death meme with that. It's like, was I a good meme? It's like, you were really good. Actually, you were one of the best. Let's take a photo. And then it's like, all the boys and also Grayskull. <laughs> and it's like, me and the boys, when we die. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I really love meta jokes. Or just more than one meme in one. Cool. So what do we think about Pokemon? I think it's like one of the best memes to ever happen. It's an idea that keeps being reproduced over and over again. Uh, thus, it is a meme. I like the fact that it looks very open worldish this time. No. That's what a meme is. A meme is an idea that keeps being reinterpreted by different people across time and space. Meme That's the original. Time and space? Yeah. Holy shit. Wow. That's two of the Infinity Stones. It is. But it's also... Um, so what are we... Who's who's everyone choosing? Come on. Uh, Sobble still. What Sobble. are they called again? Scobble, isn't it? Sobble. No, it's Sobble or Scobble? It's Sobble. Sobble. It's Score Bunny. Um, Score Bunny, Sobble, and... Grookey. 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 He's like a... He's a gecko. Or something, okay. Isn't he? No, that's... In all reality, I'm going to choose the fire starter because usually... Fire starter. Every... You always choose a fire well, starter. Well, every Pokemon fire game, starter. it takes ages to get a fire Pokemon in comparison to the other Pokemon that you and to be fair, Except like, for Gen 1. Gen 1 s- sorry, say Gen, that again. In most Pokemon games, it takes a, long, a lot longer to get a Fire Pokemon than any of the other three. Yeah. You can get a Grass Pokemon like pretty much straight away, and then usually a Water Pokemon not long after that. Or a Grass Water. Yeah. Except for the first Gen, it took ages to get a first Gen. True, Pokemon. but you have to think about with this one, it also has the Wild area. Which is going to so be super dynamic. To, and like, I, I'm probably interpreting the map completely incorrectly, but... A very basic version of it would be like the main cities are like scattered around it, and then like the wild areas just like. It seems know. like it's multiple wild areas <coughs> between cities. Mm. So like you'll go through like wild area one instead of route one. It'll be like the route leading into it, and so then what, you. What's what is a wild area? Well, it's just like an open world where you can find Pokemon, not so much a linear track that you oh, need to, yeah. to get to the next yeah. town. That's where you can like have Tyranitas and Militix and. Yeah. But there'd be um, different Pokemon in every wild area. Yeah. I'd imagine so, but they said that it changes based off of time and weather. And, and space. space. <laughs> and mine. I don't think they mentioned And reality. Mm, <laughs> Turns out Pokia Dialka actually. <laughs> 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 okay. Mm, don't think that's the case. But anyway, so... Distortion. I think, I think it's... 
What? Distortion. This distortion. Yeah, Giratina. What is the third one. You mean distortion? Distortion. 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 Are they the same thing? Distortion isn't a word. I don't yeah, think. it doesn't exist. I'm sorry. Doesn't it? Distortion. That's, Dis- just, that's just your um, distortion. Talking. <laughs> it's probably just my like t- nine-year-old Somebody brain. Got autism. <laughs> Someone didn't grow out of their nine-year-old vocabulary. Uh, that's uh, I, didn't know, I didn't know this many words, and actually, I probably did. I, I learned more words than I needed to at nine, and I was like, "This will do me through life." And then everyone <laughs> used the good words, and I'm like, "All right." You're like, <laughs> uh, "What is this language?" <laughs> um, yeah, no, I, I, I don't know if I want to choose a grass type because I chose the grass type. Grass type's the game. first gym. So when you said last game, you mean Gen Seven? Seven. Sun and, you play Sun and Moon. Yeah. Oh, okay. And I chose Rowlet and I got Decidueye. Um, Decidueye? I, I didn't get Incineroar and no one got Popliol, it was whatever it turned into. Some fucking clown thing. Um, yeah, that looks really shit. <laughs> yeah, it did. It, it looks fucking terrible. <clears throat> Scobble looks really cool in the sense that it can turn invisible. Um, yeah. School Bunny looks cool in the sense that it leaves fire wherever it steps. Um, but. Fucking Grookey. Is it Grookey? Is it another is fire it fighting? I'm pretty sure it's Grookey. Grookey. Is Scobble... Not, Scobble not yet. Not, not yet. No, so they, they it's all just, just have fu- their base types at the moment. Yeah, they're just single type. Revolutions. I guarantee. But some people think that it's going to be a fire electric. Yeah, that's the common rumor. Energy. And it's going to be called Twink Ape. Twink Ape? Yeah, Twink Ape. Twink? Yes. Ape? Yes. Twinkie. It's like twinkles. Uh, twink is also a term for a petite gay man. So the uh, that community has taken so that. It's look like um, Joker from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Yeah, more or less. Oh, okay. Interesting. But it's probably twinkle because that's what lights do. It's a fun. I meme. doubt all of that, and I think it's going to be another firefighting. Well, the the it's it's a persistent rumor, fire electric, and then I don't think there's ever been a fire electric before, and yeah, that's cool. <clears throat> I don't think they've given started that much power. Like, don't. yeah, it's it's grooky. Yeah, grooky. Yeah, um, it looks like it's a mage. A mage. A mage. Oh, wait, what do you mean? So you remember when the first trailer first came out and it started with Score Bunny and it like it was like standing there and where its feet were caught on fire. Yeah. Else, and then Scobble like put it out with water because obviously... That's, that's what it does. Out. But then Grookey made grass grow and it used it by flicking the stick like a wand. Uh, I and didn't like notice that, but... So you reckon there'll be like a... Fairy? Maybe like Psychic... <clears throat> Or fairy even, yeah. Grass fairy would be interesting. Grass fairy would be I have very little We've experience that, with fairy. Have We've, we? Yeah. Oh, okay. Not in a starter, though. Not in a starter. It's been, like, like, to be fair, it's grass been starters two generations. rarely have second, second types in comparison to all other starters. I mean, there's uh, Torterra, which is grass ground. Torterra, Desert Venusaur. Eli, Venusaur. Um, Gen 3 Be- and Gen 5 uh, both didn't have... Meganium mine. didn't. Um, oh, so Gen 2, Trico 3 was... Just grass. grass. Yeah, just kept tiles, just, just grass. grass. It's Mega Evolution was Dragon, though. Yeah. yeah. Dragon? Yeah. Fuck! Yeah. Um, grass, and grass. Sinnoh was Torterra. And then Snivy after was that just was grass. Snivy, yeah, it was just grass. And then... Rowlet, which was Decidueye. I can't remember what... Wait, no. There was one in between. Chess Snow. What was he? He was grass fighting. Grass fighting. Hmm. Breloom. Breloom? Breloom, yeah, from Holland. That was, I was also say, grass that fighting. Wasn't a starter. No, I'm just saying it's grass fighting. Yeah, so it's been done. Um, and then Desiduro was grass ghost. Cool. Which a lot of people thought it would be grass flying, obviously. I thought it would be grass flying. I thought I'd be able to fly with my fucking starter like I could with Charizard, but yeah. nope. That wasn't allowed because apparently it's a fucking piece of shit. Fucking. I don't think they're ever going to try to make anything as cool as Charizard again. No, they don't have to make anything as cool as Charizard, but give us another flying type for a starter. Like, fuck. I want them to give us the Eevee illusions that we actually want. Like what? Like a dragon. Dragon or fucking... um, They could do it for this one. They've got fairy. Yeah. They may as well. Dragon, flying, ghost. 
Yeah, there's so much. Poison. Flying would be weird. Poison. Mm. They could do dragon flying. That's the thing. There's no solo mm. flying type. It's always a dual type, even if it's normal yeah. flying. Like it is. It's just got flying what, wings. What do you mean? There's so never like a Pokemon with just type. flying. There's no flying Pidgey. primary. It's normal it's flying. Normal flying. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. You could look it up, but I highly doubt there's one. There's um, one. There's one Pokemon that is flying psychic, and that's Natu and Zatu. Yeah, they're cool. Mm. But um, they're also weak. Yeah, weak ass bitch. Yeah. I suppose fighting type wouldn't be too good again. Anyway, I'm just yeah. Getting, getting fighting side tracks. Um, but yeah, I I kind of want to choose Grookey. I don't know if I want to look into its evolution side. I think I just want to be surprised. You'll probably look into it as it as it's rever- like it'll just get yeah. beamed to your face because that's what the internet does. Look at all these! Oh, fuck. Look at the bad designs. Yeah, look at it. It's yeah. nothing like the originals. Like cool. Really? Yeah, nothing. Well, I think. I think. Fire has like been a big originals. disappointment through the years, and water's next, and then, like, grass has always been pretty original. Uh, fire wasn't too much of a disappointment. I think... I only don't like fire because it's mostly firefighting. Yeah. Every fucking time. Except for Gen 7, and then they went yeah. back to firefighting again. <laughs> yeah, Ever since Gen 3. Yeah. Well, that was a thing. So, with um, Gen 4, the people were pretty upset with Infernape, because it was pretty much just Blaziken. Yeah. But as a monkey. Which, yeah. And then they're like, oh, okay, we'll do the next one, which was black and white. Yeah. yeah. Which was, which was Grumpig yeah. and Pig Knight and, uh, oh, what was it called? I don't know, but it was some big fucking fat dickhead. Wasn't it something Ball? Embor. Embor. Mm, that's right. So it was, yeah, firefighting. And then next was Litten. No. Wasn't it Tepig? Yeah, so Tepig was was Embor. Yeah. Um, and then what's the next one? Snivy. Oh, Delphox. Yeah. Yeah. And then Incineroar. Fennekin was so fucking cute. Though. Fennekin was very cute. <laughs> I liked Snivy though, because he looked cool, but Superior looks like a piece of shit. Yeah. Snivy was awesome. Yeah. He looks so like I oh, cool guy. <clears throat> in Omega Ruby, when you get to choose them as a starter, I chose Snivy. Mm. Um, and then I got the final form. I'm like, oh, this is weird. I liked Omega well, Ruby so and Star Star Fire because they implemented so much of the other games into itself. Yeah. So well. Okay, that's my that's my thinking with this game. Is Mega Revolution going to be a thing? Yeah, Probably. It it, it's be. in Let's Go, How? so... It's in Let's Go, it's in a lot of things. It just, you right, just get the stones. What I'm, what I'm thinking Will Z-Move still be a thing? I feel Probably. like they need to stop introducing new stuff and just keep... Going with the stuff that they've got for now. That, that's like, what Shannon pointed out on Games Lab. It was that like Mega Revolutions require more asset creation, so you need to de- design a new evolution basically, and that takes up time and thinking. Yeah. Where and then Z moves is the same thing. You've got to have like very what was yeah unique animations to implement. That's only for specific <clears throat> moves, so yeah. But they still have to animate it, and it still has to be. But that's consistent only specific Pokemon is what I'm saying. Yeah. So like, so each type will have its own move. Like yeah. Mega Bolt Tackle, I think, is the the electric one. But then like you can get specific ones for things like Raichu and Pikachu yeah. and shit. Um, because my Jolteon was the one I used for Z moves. Yeah. So like, it was always the same animation for every single electric type. But they still had to implement that new animation as well as every other stuff. But and then they have to every move. You're, well, yeah. Some of them have the same animation except this time it's purple because it's poison. Mm. Like the, the couple things. Whereas, but then whereas this Dynamaxing is just making them bigger. That's just right, like just stretching them sideways. I don't know how I feel about that. It's still. interesting. But basically... It's interesting. Shannon's... I like it. Shannon's point was that, hey... What was it? It's a way to make weak Pokemon strong. Like, it yeah. boosts them and actually makes them valid and, like, competitive stuff. Mm. Um, yeah. Like... Well, if it, you're backed in a corner, you can, like, pull that shit out. Yeah. Mm. And it probably, like, triples your strength or something. I just really like the... But then what if a strong Pokemon Dynamaxes against you? As a it might... Depending on what the stats are, it's, it's strong might not go that much further. Like, it might be just a bit of an increase as opposed to... And a no, consistent I think, triple. I think it's going to be a pretty big increase. It's probably going to be a times. It's, so the way a, they expect it is you can only all. do it until you take out a Pokemon. So you have to choose when you'll do it. Because if you... Like, you can you can Dynamax your strongest Pokemon right at the start. 
Yeah. But once you take out one of the six Pokemon your other person has, you go back down to normal. Size. It's three times. It's three. You have three turns and then it will revert. Um, and same with your opponent, except in the raid battle, they are consistent. Mm. They are forever Dynamaxed, mm. which is why you have to throw a Dynamax Pokeball at it. Yeah. Which is kind of cool, but fucking ridiculous. I'm really keen for the raids. Because yeah. I, I can just imagine, like, you know, fucking you and three other mates just, like, sitting there and you're like, cool, we're fighting this, who's got what, what are we using? Yeah. Let's fucking hit it hard. Um, hey, fellas, where are we dropping? <laughs> pretty, much. pretty much. And, like, it has the same thing, it has a similar thing to, like, oh, Destiny wow. and Division in terms of, <laughs> in terms of, like, it will create, like, cool post-game stuff like let, let's like we're, we're gonna put like a level 200 pokemon or whatever a level 100 pokemon dynamax is gonna have perfect ivs and it's gonna be this really really hard pokemon fight like what happens in destiny and stuff and you just have like you bring your four friends together to try and bring it down and if you get it you have this really cool pokemon and i can see how that how they would do that for like legendaries as well for like whatever celebi's new version is like you know what i mean by that like the special event pokemon or whatever legendary thing that's why i decide to throw it at the end that's how they would introduce it and i think that's cool shannon also pointed out that, that it also uh you can do because they triple in strength you would have you could go through the game with a no dynamax playthrough and that way you would have to like have really good pokemon to go, go through the that like just like hey have good pokemon to counter this dynamax pokemon because you can dynamax all your pokemon like back to back but they just, you can only use them for three turns. So, like, three turns, boom, swap out, turn to the next one, Dynamax, go. Is like that it's not Mega Revolu- It's not Mega Revolution. Yeah, it's confirmed. I'm pretty sure. Hmm. I thought you could well, only use it once per battle. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's no. what they said. Once yeah. per battle. You can only use it once per battle. That's what they said. For the about. Pokemon, and then you can switch out for another Pokemon and then Dynamax it. I'm pretty sure that's the case. Oh, that's that's a bit broken. Yeah. But if your opponent can do that. It's a bit excessive, though. That's what I'm thinking. Because then everyone's just going to Dynamax for the first three turns. And then if you don't kill them, oh no, too bad. Yeah. We'll see. Depends on the power ratio, I guess. Yeah. We'll see. The- so, we'll- that, but that's what I'm thinking. If they bring back Mega Evolution, are you going to be able to Dynamax with Mega Probably. Orbs? Maybe I can see them no because of whatever reason because you can Dynamax every every Pokemon. because Charizard X Dynamaxed with fucking Dragon Claw would be ridiculous. Yeah, Mega Rayquaza are Dynamaxed. Jesus. Mega Rayquaza is Do already. Do they still broken. have Omega Groudon and fucking Koga in other games? I, I haven't know. seen them. I didn't Primal. finish. I didn't finish Sun and Moon. Um, I assume you can bring them over. You just have to make sure that they're carrying their orbs or whatever. I assume that's the case. Uh, whatever. Why is my phone not even connected? Um, yeah, it's yeah. I assume that's the case. Mm. I don't know. Um, what else have we got? The yeah, the wild area seems cool. Random encounters are back, but not quite random. Like you, you see an exclamation mark like Metal Gear, and then you run into it. Which cool. Like I like that aspect of Let's Go. Like you can choose what you want to do. Random battle, uh, random encounters just seemed very handholdy, handheldy, um, which we are now past that. I don't know. What's this for, sorry? Random encounters, they're not so random anymore, and we can see a lot of Pokemon in the wild. Oh, it was a mix of both. It, it does look like it, but then, like, you can see the Pokemon, like, you can see yeah, that there so, will be a... so you can shoot, you can see some that you can just run into like you can with, yeah, let's go. Yeah. Um, but then I think they're also having random encounters where it's just, like, you're running along and then eventually you'll hit something. So then you can't, like, just run through the, the Great Wild without hitting anything, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like, I know in Let's Go they have them chase after you, but this is such an open world, they'll need to have... Yeah, they didn't chase after you. It depended on the Pokemon. Some, some did. Didn't yeah, they? some did. Some ran away from you. Some just didn't care. It was mostly the annoying Pokemon you didn't want to chase after yeah. you. And that was what annoyed me. I'm like, that's okay in a game where you can battle them. But where it's like, oh yeah, you have to catch it. No, I don't want to fucking catch it. Just <laughs> let me go. Yeah. Um, Pidgey did that and Rattata did that all the fucking time. Yeah. Oh, you didn't want a Pidgey? You didn't want 9,000 Pidgeys? I kept on sending all my stuff to... I, I don't play that game properly, I think. I think you're supposed to catch it. Most things that you can catch. More or less, yeah. I just run away from everything. Like, if I've got it, I run away. Mm. But you can play it like that as well as an easy game. Mm. Yeah, it's real easy. Um, yeah, what else have we got? The Rotom phone is back. The what? 
Rotom phone? Pokedex? Rotom phone? Yeah, Pokedex. I call it, I, I wrote down phone, it's probably a Pokedex. I was gonna say, a Pokedex, yes, phone, no. The only phone we had was the cross receiver in gold and silver. I can see this becoming a phone in terms of like, hey, in Let's Go, you had your PC with you, basically. I wouldn't be surprised if this is your PC, just it's your smartphone. Which is your Rotom phone. I don't know if they'll ever do that in main games. Because it made it so easy in Let's Go that you could just be like, okay, well, this team's dying, and I'll just switch out for a different team. Where what if you, you were. So if you put your Pokemon in the PC and brought it back out, no. it's still up. So, so you could just... So you... So you had to switch out with a different Pokemon. Yeah. And then you go heal them all. Yeah. At the po- okay. Interesting. That's, that's an interesting mechanic. Yeah, they can do that. But well, also, it make the game too easy. Yeah, the game's already too easy. Because then you can take all your Pokemon into the Pokemon League. Yeah. Switch it out. Yeah. I mean, they could make defenses against that sort of stuff. Like what? Just not letting Give you. Give me access your PC it. before you leave. Yeah. Not, not hand like, in your Pokedex. Yeah, not letting you access that sort. Of I stuff. mean, I wouldn't be surprised with the whole stadium aspect, like hand over the unofficial supported things, go in with your Pokeballs. Hmm. Like, Stripped down to the bare naked necessities last. Also, God, I wish there was voice acting in Pokemon because I really yes. want that girl to be well, Scottish. Think, that's like the main thing people have wanted from like day <coughs> one. And they're like, okay, we'll give you Pikachu. Also, <laughs> Dynamax um, and Eevee. Pokeballs looks like you combine a Pokeball each. I don't know. Something. I wouldn't be su- I, I, maybe I imagined it, but I'm pretty sure there was a scene where, like, when they were doing the raid, they all threw a Pokeball into a thing and then it turned What it into- looked like is the trainer returned it. She went into the little wrist thing, which Dynamaxed it. And it no, you're talking about when she turned her Pokemon into a Dynamax. But it also, it also turned into a ball. No, there she turned ball. around and it was, they were, like, I think they all, like, threw a Pokeball like at each other and it made the Dynamax ball and then she grabbed it and just fucking pegged it. It might have happened twice and both things are correct. There's so many different mechanics in Pokemon now. I'm like, are they going to have the other dimension that they didn't summon Moon in this? Uh, are I they going to do Mega Evolution? Are they going to do Z-Moves? They're probably Mega Evolution and Z-Moves I can see because Mega Evolution was in Let's Go which that was surprising. I can see Mega. I can't see Z-Moves. Like this watch is basically going to be a Ben 10 watch by the end of it if it's got Z crystals mega evolution stones and dynamaxing power mm. and well, then it looks more like a band than well yes yeah. it's band. actually modelled after the whole, um, Pokemon Go band <laughs> <laughs> it's just a Fitbit <laughs> the Pokey Fitbit um, it's where you do your so yeah, um, the, the Rotom Pokedex can transform your bike it can make it go faster or it can turn into the cool water cycle Mm. Yeah, that's one of those like blink and you miss it thing. Yeah, but yeah, no, I that's think like getting rid of the whole dynamic of HMs. Yeah, like which is good well, because I fucking hated well, cut. Oh, HM. Like, oh, you yeah. have this badass team of Pokemon. Let's make you add bullshit moves. I yeah. just make it HM whore. Yeah, like B Barrel. He was a good one for Snow. Yeah. Zigzagoon. Zigzagoon was good. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Um. But yeah, like you just fucking teach them everything, like strength, cut. Did you mean Pikachu and Eevee in Let's Go? <laughs> yeah, that's why. Like, I think because Fly will basically be used by th- uh, the Metal Bird. Correct. Uh, like that's how you that is the fast travel it's system. Be like saw. Well, you just go to it, talk to the t- its trainer, and it like, <coughs> send your cross. Like saw. Because me- <coughs> oh, that's that saw amazing. from oh, Taurus. Mega Ruby now so far. Yeah. yeah, that that was I think more yeah, I did like I was gonna say that's probably my favourite Pokemon game. It would go that and then Gen six and then original three, like third gen. Yeah. The original third gen and gen six and remake of third gen. Yeah. Oras was really, really good. Like the other couple of things that I did not interact with. Like I did not use the bottom screen in the whole game. Yeah. But when I played through it, what? Yeah. Mm. Soul uh, was amazing. Yeah, Soul was and really the fact cool. that the way that they did legendaries and the way they introduced other Pokemon from other generations, the way they implemented so much from the other games into that game so well, I think that was amazing. And the fact that they made it so that it was a continuation and not a remake, basically. So it's like you're not you're not just playing as the same characters that you played in the original games. It's it more. A it's, uh, I don't know. 
Let's Go feels like a continuation of Red and Blue. Yeah. That's how they try to do it, is that it's always a continuation. Yeah, this, I don't know. Except I, for Fire Red and Leaf, I don't think they were continuations. I think they were remakes. They were just straight up remakes. But every other remake since then, I think, has been not just a remake, but a continuation of the story. Um, yeah. Yeah. Hard Gold and Soul Silver was a continuation, wasn't it? Mm. Correct, yeah, because Team Rocket was disbanded. Yeah. Well, it was a continuation of Fire Red Leaf Green, not of Gold and Silver. Well, what? What, what? When you say continuation, what do you mean? I mean, so like, like it takes with... into effect of old things. Okay, I see what you mean. I Because to me, Let's Go is a continuation of Red and Blue. Like, Red and Blue, the characters are going off and doing their yeah, own thing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying too. Yeah. yeah. And then well, they get the remake onto itself, whereas Omega Ruby and Sapphire, they are continuations of that gen, like of X and Y, like they incorporate stuff of that. But it doesn't. I don't think there's too much evolution from story evolution from Ruby and Sapphire. Like it's just the same game, except to primal. be fair, Ruby and Sapphire didn't have that much. Of story. No, they didn't have a whole lot of story. It was like, oh yeah, I'm finding my rival. Oh, there's but they Team talked. Magma. To, they talked about your characters in Gen, the original Gen Three games in that game. Hmm. They talk about how they were legends and stuff like that. Interesting. Did they? Yeah, they did. Um, Pokemon League dude says something about it. You talking about Steven? Yes. He talks about it. Okay. I think when you get Beldum. Uh, Beldum. Beldum would be right at the end, wasn't he? Beldum yeah, after it was, you. It was very close to the end. Or at the end. Because Steven's Pokemon was Metagross. Yeah. Yeah. Mega Metagross. Oh, yeah. What a bitch to There's kill. also a theory about how um, Beldum's not actually a Hoenn Pokemon, technically. It's like, it just sort of is there. It Yeah, I think it ties into like the Deoxys. Yeah. Like. Where wherever Deoxys is from? Deoxys is from Hoenn. Yeah. Deoxys is from space. Yeah. Right. But the, the, it's we, from we, that yeah, we're saying <coughs> yes, it's an <coughs> It's a Gen three it's Pokemon. It's in that gen, but it's not from that region. Is what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. yeah because Deox- you can't find Beldums in the wild. You only get given it. And yeah. Yeah. And until 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 um, later games. Yeah. That's what we're saying. It's like it's probably from another regional space or whatever. Because yeah. they talk about how Beldum's not really Earth-like. Yeah, well, you're, you're right in the sense that yeah, all games that have been remakes so far have been like continuations. Because I remember in Gold and Silver, it was like you were working at destroying Team Rocket. Yeah. But then in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, it was like remnants of Team Rocket still yeah. trying to be Team Rocket. Well, Gold and Silver was a remnant because Giovanni disbanded them in Red and Blue. Like, and no, it was Giovanni was still there, I'm pretty sure. No. Was he not? No. Either way, it's always been such a grey area to talk about if they're continuations or just straight up remakes because... They look and are called basically the same thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but there are so many aspects of those games where they talk about what happened in the past and they're talking about what happened in those previous games. Yeah. So I don't think they know what they're doing. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. I think they just make it vague enough to keep everyone happy. Yeah. And that's how it's always going to be. Yeah. And then multiverse. Yeah. And that's what they've done already yeah I know that's what I mean um, what do we think of Leon the Pokemon League champion I think he looks it's a bit flamboyant. weird that they've introduced him as like a main selling point like I don't think they've really done that before have they they've, done, they've introduced professors before yeah they've introduced gym leaders kind of I they haven't done I don't know like I haven't paid attention to the marketing I, don't, I remember Cynthia being part of the marketing for Diamond and Pearl but I didn't know if she was the champion or not because she's in the game, like in the, in the story, quite a yeah. bit. Well, he's probably going to be in the story a bit. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, but like, yeah, but she was never marketed as the champion. I think I could be very wrong about that it's because right, yeah, like Blue, the only game where you fight your rival as the yeah. champion. Yeah, yeah, and the remakes. Wait, what's this? Sorry, I was just asking if Red and Blue is the only time where you fight your rival as the champion. Does that uh, happen in Let's Go? Yeah, your rival is the champion. Right. Blue becomes leader in that. So Wait, oh, is it blue or is it your rival? From blue. Let's blue is a separate character in Let's Go. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So is he the champion? No, your rival is the, the champion. Yeah. Who is fuckhead McGee? Yeah. 
I called him Dick the Calm after that one profile I had on Xbox 360 that Caleb made. <laughs> um, you know, I have... I didn't like that rival. Yeah, it's really weird. <laughs> and it's weird he's when... He's so placid. He's just like, he's not... And he doesn't antag- antagonize you at all. He's just like... Ah, we're friends! And then Blue's like, yeah, I was friends with my rival too. And we're like, bullshit! <laughs> Blue's the worst, which is why I like him. Silver's also a bit of a cunt, but he actually character development. Silver? Silver? From, yeah, Golden Silver. What do you mean he was a bit of a cunt? He was a bit of a cunt. He was, he was so more mean. More than a bit of a cunt. He was a cunt. <laughs> uh, um, and then he was like, uh, actually, my dad's a bit of a cunt. Maybe I should not. Who was his dad? Giovanni. That's right. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't play the second gen. You should play Soul Silver one. Well, game. I want to. I think I started. I think I used yours. Well, just wait till Let's Go Johto. Heart Gold. You would have I don't point. think I want that to be my first experience. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I said, said let's, let's wait for Let's Go Johto. I'm like, I don't want that to be uh, my first experience. Um, I think I might know what, and like, this is pure, like, just, I thought of it. Um, I think I might know what they might call, like, the remake for Diamond and Pearl. It'd be Lustrous, Pearl, and Adamant. Um, Diamond. Diamond. Because um, Palkia and Dialga had different items that they held. Yep. The Adamant Orb and the Lustrous Orb. I could so, see that happening. Respectively. Yeah. yeah. Um... That would probably be the way to... I mean, like, obviously, like, there's no... There's no... Like, we shouldn't even be talking about it because cool. this game hasn't even come yeah. out. But, yeah, just in case. The next game... I would love for them to do a remake of Gen 4 because I would like to play it. The reasons why I didn't play Gen 4 was because I didn't have any consoles or the money to buy that at that age. It was a good game. Um, I had a PSP. And a PS. Um, well, no, no, no. It was, it was a very good game. Um, yeah, I do Gen like Gen 5. Gen 5, I was just, like, straight up, like... I. Didn't play Gen 4. Gen 5 was quite trash. (laughs) So Gen 5 was like pretty much the Assassin's Creed 1 of the new generation of Pokemon in the sense that like... That's an interesting way of putting it and I see where you're coming from. So like the animation was there and like it was was all very new but it was all really shit. Yeah. Um, Like... What do you think of Black 2 on top of that? I haven't played it. Okay. To me, like when people talk about Black 2 and White 2... It felt like like there's not too much of a difference. Between it is a sequel of a story, but other a than se- that, the sequel. Yeah, but what I is it like? QRAM gets there's like very no, very know. little difference. Yeah, mm. I would have preferred to have seen what they would have done. And again, like I don't like Sun and Moon for the pure fact that I knew they were going to do something with X and Y, and they were like oh. my favorite games, and they didn't do a sequel to that. Yeah, there was, was no Z. Very Z. excited for something. <laughs> yeah. Because I was like, there's going to be all this stuff. There's all this lore. It looks so good. It's a great game. It plays well. And then they were just like, sun and moon. And I just... No, it's my fair. heart broke that day. <laughs> That's very... You just have to wait for the Gen 6 remake. Oh, it's fucking ages away. I'm <laughs> fucking 40. Uh, yeah. And we'll still play it. Yeah. yeah. Um, but, but a hop. What do you think of Hop being Leon's younger brother? But also your right. I think it's going to be good. For yeah. The character development. Um, eventually, he's just going to be like, I'm sick of trying to be mm. my brother. And I'm I going wonder. To be myself. That's, uh, that was also Shannon's conclusion. <laughs> well, he might do that. Or what if they did end up doing. Like, what if he uh, killed his brother and then fuck. he assumed his identity? No. no. What if that's already happened? Bill. That's already well, fucked who up. Would, who would hop be? But. No, there's another brother who's already killed the another other brother. brother. Um. <laughs> there's two brothers. <laughs> there were three, but now there's two brothers. Um, so, no, I was thinking, what if Hop eventually just defeats his brother and he becomes the leader before you get there and he is like the new boy? That'd be a bit fucked, though. It'd be boring. If what if that happened? What if Hop joined the team? That would be <gasps> interesting. That'd be really cool. Has that ever happened before? Maybe he became the leader or something. Mm, That's never happened. Nope. Before. God, let's create some actual fucking drama in these games. Yeah, that would be cool. That would be cool because in the past, the leader has helped you with the team, like Lance did in, in Gold. Yeah, yeah. which so was really cool. Imagine that. Like, imagine like you know you're doing your own adventure and then slowly hops like, you know, I can kind of see the the good side of this team. Yeah. It's like, oh, like I'm going to hang out with these guys, Indeed. and then it's like, okay, I'm like one of the leaders, and then it's like, cool, I fucked off the leader, and like now I run on the show, and then it's like, oh shit, now Hop has to fight Leon. 
Yeah. Beats yeah. Leon, yeah. and then you beat Hop, or maybe Leon. Nah, mate, it, Hop would have to beat Leon for you to have to fight yeah. Hop. So maybe you you fight Leon, and then he's like, "Good job," and then Hop's like, "I'm gonna fuck shit up," and then Hop like comes in, and then Leon's like, "I'm gonna take you down," and then he doesn't, and then it's like, "Cause he's Pokemon." You just week. beat me. You're the champion. You gotta beat this guy. I'll heal your Pokemon, and then you fucking fight. Da, 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 da. And then that's the. Fucking <laughs> battle of the game. You're welcome, Game Freak. Take it. Yeah, it'd be awesome if they actually did something worth drama like if they had because there's so many times now they've done three like you've, there's been a team of three so you've been you and then like two other rivals in oh, most X games. and Y there were like seven. Oh <laughs> yeah there were so many right there was like four that. rivals I was, don't even remember there was you seven. Serena the chick that was like your girlfriend the fat guy Tierno and then the guy with the orange hair that looks like a helmet yeah, <laughs> yeah. I remember all of them yeah. They could have done so, well in making so them like me. secondary gym leaders or something eventually. Like if you were to finish the game, it could be like all of these people yeah. are gym leaders. That would make cool. Like that. Well, that was the thing. So like obviously three starters, but you have like s- like four rivals. So two of them got the other two starters, but then Tiona got like Corfish, and then the fucking nerdy guy had what was it like? Hello kid. Wasn't it like the bunny dude, the bunny thing? Digsby? Oh, Dig- Digsby. Uh, yeah. I remember one Bunnel- of them Bunnelby. had Bunnelby. One Bunnelby, of them had Bunnelby. Digsby. Yeah. Because um, Tiona had Corfish, and I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. The ship it was like the kid and the fat guy had the other ones, and yeah. then the two and then the Sabrina other Sabrina and the... Serena, yeah. Oh, Serena and... What's her face? That was like... Kiki? Kiki? Or something? <laughs> um, Half but... a zenny and I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. No, I remember that. Mm. Um, well, I really like this. They did say times. one of your rivals is Hop. Yeah. yeah. So, so, so it would be really interesting if they did do that. Mm. And they had, like, one of your rivals was actually your rival, and then the other one joined the team, and, like, he was your well, friend, they, and you were like, holy shit. No, one thing I like about Gen now? 3 is that you had... While she did battle you, like May was your Pokedex rival, and then Wally was your actual battle rival. Like he's, he, yeah. but you don't. That's the thing. Like you don't battle him as much as May. Just like yeah. they have very different goals, but she battles you more. Yeah, yeah. There was. I always felt so bad for Wally though. I was like, I'm just fucking beating up this poor kid. Yeah, <laughs> like he he looked younger, but like he got he really young good, and he looked sick. Yeah, well, he was sick at the start. He got quite strong in Omega, though. Like, he looked he looked more confident as it went. Yeah. Because with actual Ruby and Sapphire, it was just the same kid the yeah. entire way. Then, like, when he showed up at the end of Victory Road, you're like, fuck! And then he got, like, a bunch of strong... Like, oh, yeah, by the way, so I've got, like, all of these. Good, good luck. Yeah. <laughs> in Omega, didn't he have a Gallade and a Gardevoir? I think he just had a Gallade. No, he, no, he had a Gardevoir. No, he had a Gardevoir. I don't think so. Gardevoir was Gen 3, Gallade yeah. was Gen 4. I know, but I'm pretty sure he just had a Gallade in that. What? Because it's just, because that it's just his sense. routes. You didn't catch another route. That didn't work. It might have been, I think, yeah, because it evolves into a Mega, they mega Gallade. Megas. Do they? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Gardevoir gets like a big ball gown. Okay. Um, Check what does Gallade out. get? More arms. Bigger arms, yeah. Yeah. You get like Mewtwo X or whatever, the buff Mewtwo. Yeah. It's weird. Um, Well, there was um, black and white. So you had two rivals at the start, and then a third one comes in who just wants to like liberate Pokemon. His name was N. Oh, I didn't realize he was a rival. The the team was trying to catch, right? Because he was good at Pokemon or something. No, no, no. So, (laughs) so he. I thought N was a team leader. Yeah, I thought he was bad. Oh, I ended up being bad. Kind of. So he, he was with the 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 team, and then he um, he like revolted or something and he was like I, like I don't want to enslave Pokemon and he tried to help the team for a bit but then the like the actual leader of the team um, tricked him or something and he ended up um, catching Reshiram or Zekrom depending on which game he had um, and you had to fight I can't remember if you had to fight N or if you had to fight the old guy both I know you had to fight both, but I can't remember which one had Reshiram or Zekrom. I think the old guy had had the legendary. But yeah, he like tricked N. He was like, yeah, we're going to liberate Pokemon. And N's like, well, that's what I want. 
And then he was like, oh, lol, no, I'm going to enslave this legendary. And he was like, you lied to me. That was pretty much it. Then. Wow, it's almost like he wanted power or something. Yeah. It's almost like he has an entire game because he likes power and stuff. Dynamax legendaries. <laughs> I can see that happening. No, it's happening. Yeah, it's definitely. I want to see what Dynamax to Whale Lord. Oh, there's <laughs> another thing. <laughs> really there's another thing called Gigantamax. I don't think that's anything. Maybe that's just a term people are using for the raids. Because that's Perma Dynamax. Gigamax. Permamax. Permamax. Maximilian. Maximilian M. Thousand. Um. Who else we got? The Pokemon, what are they called? Professor? She looks cool. She's Professor like, Magnolia. The old one. Okay. I show. heard somewhere <laughs> that she was the first... Um, Female? Yeah. Professor. Isn't the Professor the J- Juniper Correct. woman? From uh, Black and White. And there's another one. I th- no, I don't know. Yeah, that's it. That's it. So you get Oak, Bert, ah, sorry, Oak Elm, Birch, uh, Rowan. Rowan, Juniper... And then, um, oh, fuck. X and Y. Yeah, uh, Sycamore. Sycamore. Okay. Sy- is it Sycamore Sy- or Sycamore? Doesn't matter. Sycamore. What? That's the name of the tree, Sycamore. Um, and then, what was the last one? Sun and Moon. So it was like that fucking... That young guy. Yeah, he was like... Oh, so, so Either way, it was a guy. Professor Nutman or whatever it was. It was a guy. Nutman. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a nut. Even the Professor Pokemon Quippy. Go professor was a guy. And then, yeah, so eight is Magnolia. But yep. Juniper was a bush, not a tree. Yeah. So. Magnolia is also just a plant. Is it? Yeah. Magnolias mm. aren't trees there. Mm, it's probably Flowers like, like a Professor U or something. You! Dun, 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 uh, we, dun, there might dun, be dun, the other spin off games because the spin off games also dun, keep that, like dun, Professor Willow and Pokemon you. Go. I didn't even know about Pokemon Ranger. Uh, yeah. Pokemon whatever. Um, so yeah, there's that. There's also her granddaughter, Sonia. And then... The Sonia's like, I'm not a tree. No. Sonia's like, I'm a Sonia. Yep. And then the Pokemon Gyms. Are proper stadiums confirmed. I, I, I believe your roommate in her saying that... The first gym leader is Australian, purely because his name is Milo. As soon as I saw that, I'm like, he's got to be, right? We'll never know, unless he says mate. I mean, like, Milo is also an English name. So yeah. I don't know. But it would be fucking hilarious. I don't think they will. I, they haven't had anything to do with Australia except for Kangaskhan. Kangaskhan, Doduo, Emus. Could be Ostriches. Now they're in use. How do you know? Because that's what I decided when I was six. <laughs> um, and then what do we think of the legendary? Zassian and Zamazenta. What's the third one I want to find out? Um, I'm keen for Zassian. Sorry? I'm keen for Zassian. Yeah. Is that the sword? The shield? dog sword, yeah. Zamazenta it's Sif is from the shield. Dark Souls. It's also... Is it? Okami. I don't know. I feel like I might get shield. I really like. I was gonna get Shield when they announced it because I knew that the game everyone wasn't going to get. I'm like, I'll get Shield, but then Dog with a sword, like. Do you reckon the sword can be taken out? Well, well he he, he shuffles, shuffles it in his mouth. In his mouth so. So, like, mm. like, so where's the sword from? Probably born with it, like a lot of other Pokemon. Like Far-fetched. it's like Cubone. Yeah, Cubone has Far-fetched it. finds its stick. Yeah. yeah. Cubone with his bones. His Bone. With his mother's bones. He tore from her body. From her dead body. Dead body. Yeah. <coughs> I think it's more um, like a skeleton. So does that mean each Marowak dies when it gives birth? Well, I was obviously really not. I was really scared. And they don't one, give birth, they lay eggs. In one game, I had a Q-bone and I think I put it in with a ditto and it had an egg and I was really scared my Q-bone would die. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no! But obviously, no. That's... No, It'd be really no. like okay. Something I didn't know about first gen is that Gengar is the ghost of Clefable. I did not know that until a couple of months ago. Huh. Yeah. 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 
And when it was said, I'm like, oh, that makes sense. There's so many different renditions of that, though. I think it's in Pokedex entries. One of them is like the Shadow of yeah. Clefable. Huh. Well, like just dead Clefables for Mount Moon. How'd, how'd you hear that? Someone told me. Like, yeah. either with Shannon or my housemate. And I'm like, what the fuck? And then Annika shared a did the post of like Clefable looking into the a pond and it was yeah. Gengar. Yeah. I'm like, oh my god. Uh, but then at the same time you say that but then what the fuck is Ghastly and Haunter yeah, just the non-complete versions of them and mm-hmm. something else they're just <laughs> they're just like part of the ghost that are still guess, forming that's yeah. how I've always seen that evolution regardless oh so like was. Clefable dies turns into a Ghastly and then it's like yeah and, and they gain more power it, into yeah, itself okay. yeah Interesting. It's so um, weird how they make that law. It's like, oh yeah, Fable does this, but no other Pokemon. Well, there was, there was there was another law where also you can breathe the ghost. <laughs> <laughs> there was another law where it was like um, Suicune, Entei, and Raikou were all Jolteon, Vaporeon, and Flareon. Holy fuck! And then when they so they yeah. they died in the fire, and then when they were revived, they got the power of Ho Oh, and that's how they turned into the the dogs that they are. Yeah, I know those. Yeah. Is that confirmed? No. Or I don't know that, if it's confirmed, but it's a theory. That's a pretty fucking solid fan theory because there's so much stuff about that Burt Tower. Is it mm. called Burt Tower? Um, crispy Tower. No. <laughs> Definitely not Crispy Tower. Um, <laughs> Zinger Box. <laughs> Supercharged Tower. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking cow. But yeah, no, I really like that idea because yeah, that tower is so mystical and like ooh, the, what I kind of like about Johto is that the best it's, way to go into Pokedex entries and theories about Pokemon and how they came to be is like look at everything as a myth because a lot of it doesn't make sense. You got to yeah. be like this is a myth and this is just like a story time myth and that's what they've said originally to just placate their thoughts. But this is what's actually happened. Cubone's probably just born and then it grows those bones. Eventually. No, well, the skull literally, like, moves around. Yeah. Well, yeah, but so does a snail shell. Huh? Like, a snail grows its shell. It's born and then grows a shell. And it can leave it. What? I'm just saying that there's a pe- Like, there are animals out there with exoskeletons that do move around. They're Pokemon. In any case, I really like this dog theory of Eevees. It's a good one. Is that, uh... Because I know there's some other dogs, like the one from Sun, and now these new ones. They wouldn't be new Eevees, would they? No. No. They're not fa- none of them are fairy or a dark psychic. What? Nothing. It wouldn't make any sense. Yeah. Yeah. Don't matter. Mm. The rest of them are just Lucario. <laughs> <laughs> Lucario and Falls. I thought, like, isn't Lucario's, like... He's supposed to be the dog Pokemon, but I thought Eevee was supposed to be the dog Pokemon. There's so no, many the dog Eevee's Pokemon. The evolution Pokemon. Okay. Eevee's the Genghis Khan Pokemon. Uh, no, I missed it. Ditto was the Genghis Khan Pokemon. Ooh. Just murders everyone. <laughs> yeah. and Fuck babies. <laughs> Jesus. Any other final thoughts on Pokemon Swish? Yeah. Any final thoughts on Pokemon Swish? I'm getting sword. I'm getting shield, probably. I'm probably gonna get sword. I only want shield because I actually kind of like the legendary better. I the leg, like it is still a really good design, but dog with sword. You can't beat that, and I'm not putting down shield boy. Oh, no, shields can beat swords. I don't know. <laughs> Dynamite. <laughs> Gun. I don't, know. I don't know. Thanos, Captain America, probably not. I Me, mean, shield got fucking shredded. Yeah, he got destroyed. Yeah. Spoilers. Is that what it is? Pokemon Hammer? <laughs> Pokemon. Pokemon. Pokemon Smith. <laughs> Smith. Just a blacksmith. Pokemon. Uh, I think it'll be Bow. Or like Pokemon Cross. Hammer and Pokemon Sickle. Pokemon Animal Crossing. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so the Poke- Pokedex entry is actually that it is the skull of the Marowak. Yes. <laughs> that's what you were doing. Well, I just, well, yeah, I just wanted to make sure that it wasn't yeah. like... Yeah. Oh, yeah, like, this Ms. might Burum. be what it is. Yeah. No, that's what I'm saying, though, is that it's probably best to go into, like, looking at... If you want reason, if you're looking for reason, just you think of the it. Pokedex entries as myths and then come up with your own reason, because it makes no sense. <laughs> um, November 15th, pretty much the same release date as Let's Go. Um, it's weird that Leon's Pokemon is a Charizard. Yeah. Did anyone else find that weird? It's probably... He's re- the rest of his team will probably be... From local, the region. yeah, or from all other regions, maybe he's a man of many talents. 
Maybe um, the rest maybe of his team Hulk is gonna murder him in his sleep. Maybe that's why Hop will skip and jump. Maybe Hop's main Pokemon will be a Hop. If that were the other rivals are called Skip and Jump. Hop skip jump. Hop skip jump. Let's go home and well, sleep. No. <laughs> so maybe Hop's Pokemon should be Score Bunny. Should be, yeah. I think that's well, probably. Well, you say that, but I get, it'll always depend on whatever you pick. Yeah, yeah. Like but canonically, I'm picking Grookey. I'm picking Tobble because I want that sad Pokemon in my life. I, don't know, I guess you guys, the only guys that I know that play Pokemon, so I just choose Score Bunny then. <laughs> and then we'll all find a Ditto and whore it out. I mean, I don't think it, boom. it's not really hard to get copies of Pokemon nowadays. Like when I say that, I mean like when. Back in the day, when you were playing with like red and blue, and you wanted all three starters, you had to fucking have two games, two Game Boys, and you had to grind all the way to the next town where you could actually finally do a link. Yeah. And then you'd have to start the other game again, and then you'd have to keep doing that so that you could get, get them all. And then a lot of people would do that to the point where they had three, two sets of each starter so that they could do it with their friends. So, like, their friends would oh. Be- so they could just trade all three without yeah. having to, yeah. People did that a lot with um, the main red and blue and then also the yellow version so that they could all have Pikachu. They well, in yellow, you could j- you just got them through yeah. the game. Like, you get Charmander, Bulbasaur, Squirtle, you get given them. No, I can't remember that, but then again... I, I, really I played, played I yellow. Attention. I think I got up to the second gym in yellow. Or yellow is so cool. Yeah, yellow is a good idea. It's cool. Yeah. Anything else? It was so uh, cool back in the days when they used like the simple Pokemon as like the starter. Uh, and there's like the cartridge things like Charizard for red and Blastoise for blue and it was Pikachu for yellow. Venusaur for green. And now they're oh, like... Yeah, they could have a green version. L- the original L- Japanese release was yeah. red and green. Yeah. yeah, well to be fair, the first gen legendaries weren't given any... Weight. Yeah, there's no story. They're just and then like, they were like, oh, fuck, we should probably give them weight. Because Gen 2 was always going to be done. Yeah. That's why they had ho in the first yeah. episode. Yeah. Because he was always going to be... Like, Gen 2 was always going to be a thing. ho in episode that. 1 looks like... You can tell it's not finished designed. Because mm. it's not... It has a rainbow around it, but it's not... It's actual finished colours. Like, it is in shadow, but it's not... It's ho looked design. fucking stupid. I preferred Lugia over ho I like both. ho just looks weird. I think they plan to have ho somewhere, but I don't think they were, like, definitively going to leave it in the second gen. I think it just worked out that way. They're probably going to have it in the first gen, but it just didn't work out. Probably licensing. Probably resources. just time, yeah. Resources. 151 Pokemon sounded good. Yeah. Do you guys know how you get Mew in red and blue? Not a clue. Something about using strength on a truck. Really? <laughs> what? Mm. Can't it, remember specifically. I should just YouTube it because yeah. if it is a specific, like, I thought it was mystery event, like how you got yeah. oh, Gen Three. For shit. like, let's go. I'm sure there was some of it. Oh, you had to like let's go. Pokeball you you only got it from the Pokeball. Yeah, yeah. yeah but I'm pretty sure in Red and Blue, you, like, like there was something where you like you use strength on a truck or something, and it would like trigger some part of the game that would then yeah just have oh, a Mew. Cool. Probably you'd go back to the same cave, cave you'd catch me to. Maybe. I, or maybe, I don't uh, know. well, they wouldn't have... And then there was also... Back then ...to do what they did with the dogs in Gen 2. Mm. Gen 2, you just ran, ran around in here to kind of dogs. Yeah. And I know that's how you find Mew in Fire Red Leaf Green. It's a roaming Pokemon well, after you unlock it so through some mystery event. With Gen 2, you would find Entei and Raikou that way. You wouldn't find Suicune that way. Suicune, Suicune. Suicune's only like that you in had to Crystal. Follow it. You had to follow it. Yeah. In Heart Gold, anyway. So you, you would find it, and then, like, some character would come up and be like, I've been tracking it down forever. And then you find it somewhere else, and then he'll pop up. You find it again, he'll pop up. Then you find it one more time, and then it just stays there and you battle it. Yeah. But with Raikou and Entei, it's like you get one move, and then it'll fuck off. Mm-hmm. And then you'll find it again, and its health will be the same. Okay, so yeah. your first move is sleep. <laughs> First move, yes. Uh, Sleep worked. Unless it had yeah, fucked on speed. Yes. Which it yes. did. Um, and then you just I don't know swipe if it. that's the case, actually. You would try and like, status effect that that it. Like happen. paralysis or I was going to say, I always went for, like, 
Either paralysis or burn, because that one would always last. So maybe that was it. You're pretty brave using burn. <laughs> well, it wasn't there for a full turn. So, like, you would hit it and then it would be like... Yeah, but then, then, like, you would... Yeah, anyway. It wouldn't get hurt. Um, like and then false Because I remember I, the the same mecha- mechanic was there for... Um, Latios, Latios. Mm, well, yeah, but... Um, <sighs> fuck, what... Mesprit in Sinnoh. Yeah. Um, and I I definitely yeah, burnt that. Okay, as soon as it got to Gen 4, Legendary got super confusing for me. <laughs> like, what? Because there was just a huge amount of... There are quite confused. a lot, yeah. Like, in comparison to all the other games, yeah. as soon as it got to Gen 4, it was just like... Gen 4 is where they started I'm just I'm still using. learning about Legendaries that I had no idea about. I, I think I only learned about Mesprit not long ago. <laughs> Probably through Pokemon Go. Yeah. Because so I've I got a Uxie event at the moment. They yeah. used to have an Azelf event. And then, like, they oh, had Hazel, Thunderous, Landorus, and Tornadus, yeah. which came out of fucking nowhere. Yeah, they were black and white. Um, they were weird. I, I called them in Aura. I was like, I these, these are weird designs. I don't know. Cause, Cause, there was a whole heap of Pokemon so like the that way, where there would be, like, three of the elements, but they wouldn't fucking explain anything. They were just like, yeah, Reggie's were pretty good, weren't they? Here's clones oh, of those. Oh, <laughs> okay. And then Sinnoh was like... Who's Reggie Gigas? Everyone was like, "What the fuck?" Yeah. <laughs> I can't even remember what Reggie Gigas' type was. It was like normal. It's just something. normal, yeah. But it can do. It kind of like Eevee in terms of that. It can do uh, almost any attack, like to hype attack type. That's stupid. It had hyper beam, didn't it? But yeah. Type, like I remember in the anime scene, it used hyper beam. It was like destroys mountains. And I'm like, fuck. You was hyper you catch beam. It's level one. Reggie no, Gigas. it's level seventy. Level seventy. Maybe in a different game, there was but in Gen Four. To do with like you caught it or something happened in you. Manaphy. <coughs> Reggie. Maybe I got. Fuck! I miss Pokemon Ranger. One because it probably was hacked. Because during Gen Six, there was a fuck ton of hacked Pokemon from under trains. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I got Arceus. <laughs> Arceus, not even a real fucking Pokemon. I remember. What do you mean the seventeen different versions of it? <laughs> Oh yeah, what is that? You give it a plate so and it changes it type yeah. and stats. It's fucking annoying. Yeah. So if you want to complete the full like living decks, you need to have seventeen Arceuses. See, the plates were real items, but to get yeah. Arceus, you needed like a fucking what do they call it? Game Shark. Well, yeah, or that's one way you could do it. Replay, the, sorry. The cannot. Or the way you're supposed to get it, like go to Target or whatever during like these specific days and get it. Oh yeah, that's. Which right. means if you got it not during that, you're fucked. You need seventeen Arceus. I'm really How do upset. I get that? I don't know. It's the, supposed to be like the one. Oh, seven. Pokemon? Yeah. <laughs> There's 17 of them. Yeah, I don't know. I'm really upset because I lost my copy of Diamond and oh. that shit was action replayed to the max. I had a <sighs> level 100 Swampert, level 100 Azelf. I had a shiny Arceus or Arceus, whatever. Um, I had so many fucking Pokemon and then I, it just vanished. I don't know where it went. We moved house. Couldn't find it. I lost my heart gold on the last day of term three. Sucks. sucks. Yeah. Heart gold's really good. It was a good game. I liked Cyndaquil, but I hated Typhlosion. <laughs> okay. Typhlosion's a good Pokemon, don't get me wrong. It's yeah, the same thing with Fennekin and Delphox. Yeah. I mean, Delphox was shit, but Fennekin was cool. Yeah. That's why I like Totodile. It's just cool all the way through. Totodile's fucking stupid. <laughs> I like Totodile. I need to look this up actually. What? Um, what type of Pokemon Totodile is? Crocodile. He's water dark. He's just water. I thought he was water dark. No, he can learn crunch and bite, and those are dark moves, but it's not. It's just. It's a single type. All of no, Gen 2 is just single so you type. Know, you know how in the trailer there was that Pokemon called Deadnor, and it would like. Yeah. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. yeah. He so was I thought I thought Totodile was the the bi Pokemon, but it turns out it's the big jaw Pokemon. Okay. What that jaw do? Yeah. <laughs> what about Croconaw? Croconaw. It's the lame Croconaw Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. It. Yeah. What? It was the evolution. What are you talking about? Cro- like second stages are always the teenage. What are you looking at? I kind of like I kind of like Kabaskin was kind of cool Grovile was the coolest Grovile fucking cool Grovile he had a leaf yeah, in his mouth he reminds me of Snoop Dogg what? he reminds me of Snoop Dogg okay. Grovile has long hair and he has I'm like a stick I'm a marijuana plant oh. I can get you fucked up I think I know and what today's thumbnail is 
<laughs> I know what the thumbnail for this episode is now. What? Shall you split it? Grovile and Snoop Dogg. Oh, what? Apparently Tom Holland is young Nathan Drake in 2020 Uncharted movie. Yeah. What? That's old as fuck news. Interesting. There's any news that it might be like 2020, which I don't, <coughs> I don't know. On the next episode of Amount. On the next episode of Tom Holland just ends up being Sony. <laughs> yeah. He'll be the next. He'll be Kratos. <laughs> Alrighty, no, guys. He'll be. What's Atreus? It? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Atreus. Boy. If you enjoyed this episode, please click that like button. I know we get a little bit tired in the end, but we like Pokemon and we just want to talk Pokemon forever. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Pokemon forever. Could pretty good movie. Could definitely do it. Oh, yeah. Speaking that's of, <laughs> just one really quick thing. We're doing a remake of the fucking Mewtwo movie? Yeah, in CG, yeah. It's pretty ambitious, but cool, I guess. Yeah. Everyone liked that movie. So. Yeah. And I love how, like, in the trailer, they do the cliffhanger of when Pikachu is slapping each other, and then Mew and Mewtwo... Like, it drops off there, and then you hear Mew and Mewtwo charge up their beams, and Ash go, <laughs> No! Like, scream. Yeah. And then it's just, like, stops. Are they just remaking They're remakes. Re- yeah, remaking it in CG. With CG. And, like, with modern Pokemon as yeah. well. Yeah. Like, not just Gen 1. <clears throat> I'm like, okay... Hopefully, I don't know. I'm bit about the new movies because of Talking Pikachu from iTunes. <laughs> I'm like, if you're going to reboot it, do it properly. Don't just do... And I know it probably p- plays off properly, but no, don't. Meowth is the only talking Pokemon because of comedy reasons. Mm. Yeah. And then it actually had a fucked up backstory or something. Yeah, so it liked a really rich Meowth. And it was, like, really poor in Hollywood. And then Meowth was like, I know what will impress her. And, um... Because she liked Because she people. liked... She liked Persian. Um, but she also loved her... Yeah, her trainer. Um, and then Meowth learned English and was like, Hey, I know English. I... I'm, like, really cool. And she was like, That just makes you even more weird. And... You fucking freak! <laughs> but then, like... Oh no! So it was it was like rich with a trainer, and then yeah, learn English, and then um, yeah, she was like, "Oh, you're a weirdo now because you know English." And then he was really upset, and then her trainer abandoned her, and so she was left on the street. And Meowth was like, "Oh well, I guess I'll try and take care of you." And then there was a Persian that that took care of her instead. Giovanni Persian. And then no. um, Team Rocket found Meowth, found Meowth. Yeah. and he was like. Let's go on wacky adventures together. Yeah. And then they were blasting off again. Well, actually, maybe maybe he learned English. She said that he was fucking weird. He fucked off. And then they came back to Hollywood and she was in the street and he was like, maybe she'll be on my level. And then the Persian rocked up. That's right. Yeah. Man, that was a sad fucking time. I remember reading the book about that one. <laughs> they had it in the school. Yeah, library. there's yeah. like a lot of really sad parts of Pokemon. Yeah, well, they get really deep in the first thing. They, remember when they had guns? Yes. <laughs> what? I remember yeah. when fucking <laughs> someone pointed a gun at Brock. Yeah, and he was like, yeah. "Fuck you." <laughs> yeah. Or something. Um, there was also Game Theory just recently did a video on the Ghost Girl from Gen Five. <laughs> Like, ghost? only recently, like, this week, released a video on the ghost girl from, like, she was on the bridge, and it was all about Darkrai and Cresselia. Oh. Yeah. yeah. You know how she's on the bridge, and then she's like, you walk up to her, and she disappears, and everyone in the first game was like, oh, it's a glitch. But in the second game, it turned out that she died because Darkrai was giving her nightmares, and they her parents tried to find Cresselia's wing... To get rid of Darkrai, but she ended up dying because it was too late. And so she went to a bridge where she knew Cresselia would go to give the wing back. So, like, her ghost was trying to give the wing back. And that's where, if you go there in the second game with the wing from her house, um, you can catch Cresselia there. Uh. Yeah. Hmm. Are they the opposites in that? Yeah. Okay. Cresselia is like, like the. It's psychic. It's like the 
What Pokemon is it? It's like the like white a... Pokemon? Or... Yeah, so Darkrai is the Nightmare Pokemon, isn't it? And then Cresselia is like the Crescent Moon Pokemon. Yeah, or yes, yeah that's it, yeah. yeah. Interesting. Mm. Sweet Dreams Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> what is the Moon Pokemon then? Like from Sun and Moon? Just uh, the Moon Pokemon? So there was the there was the lion, and then there was like some blue thing that kind of looks like a Veltal, but not quite. Yeah, it was weird. It was like a bat. I can't remember what it was called. Yeah, it was like a bat. Yeah. 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 It was called, though. I didn't look into those games much at all. No, I, like, I never finished. They felt like they were supposed to be mid games. It felt like they were supposed to be in between games. Yeah, well, it was just really hard for me to get into it because, like, I don't know, the story didn't just carry enough weight. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I just wasn't paying enough attention because oh. Jonah and I played it a lot. I really want to play Ultra Sun or Moon. Everyone told me that Ultra Sun and Moon was a lot better, but even though... And I get your bitterness. <laughs> like, I can't. Apparently they're hard, so I'm like, I actually want to play those games. But I also don't, like, apparently on normal DSs, they run like shit. Yeah. Like, I have an original DS and it won't run that well, but if you have like a new 3DS, mm. it'll run fine. But I really just wish that they did something with Gen 6, because that was... Yeah. Like, Again, set. wait till the remake. Game. And They'll never bring out a they could. They had they so will. many good. Oh, well, not for a long time. Yeah. They had so many good things in place. Like they had heaps of like yeah. hidden stuff in that game where everyone was like, "Fuck yes, can't wait!" And then the new CEO got in and he was just like, "Nah." <laughs> Let's just do something new instead. And everyone's like, "I get where you're going with this, but don't." Yeah. Then they stopped. But I'm looking forward to this new game because it looks like it's actually going to be really decent. Yeah, <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. If you enjoyed this episode, please click that like button, subscribe. <laughs> Should we make this two episodes? Yeah, probably. <laughs> um, hit the bell. Hit the bell. No, I don't think I will. Comment below. Email amalgamshow.gmail.com, social media, at the Amalgam Show, www.theamalgamshow.com. And that's it, everyone. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Till next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.